that whole idea of, gee, are you a retired worker? Well, no, I'm a real viable employee. Guess what? And I have a lot to bring to the table. My name is Linda A. Bear, and I'm 61 years old. My dad was a structural iron worker, and the test site was active um, at that time, above ground testing for atomic bombs and that type of thing. I've been single for almost 25 years. Um, I have four children. All of them are grown. I have eight grandchildren, and I wasn't planning on retiring. I was a marketing coordinator for Pulte Homes, and subsequent to that, um, design display manager for Susan Shook and Associates. In 2005, the uh, real estate industry was at its height. Um, there were land was being sold, homes were being built, lickety split. The entire valley was filling up. And the years that I began working at Pulte, it was at the very top. We went in and set up pre-sales trailers uh, for you know, the developed communities that were being set up. And we also uh, worked with construction to build the actual sales office in the model park. So we were all on the front end, uh, and everything that we did was in preparation for the grand opening for that particular community. I loved my job. It was thrilling. It was very exciting until the price of um, housing dropped. When they first had their first uh, layer of layoffs, we were part of it. Practically the entire marketing team was laid off all at one time in one day. By January of 2009, even the temporary agencies, because I worked for a year in temporary work while I tried to find a full-time job, uh, the temporary agencies by 2009 were even laying off. And since the market value was, was increasing, I went ahead and sold my condo. So I've just been renting. Uh, I was fortunate in that respect because I could move in with my brother and also my mom who are in town. My savings are depleted. <laughs> And I did get severance pay, and that is depleted as well. Haven't had health care coverage since Pulte in 2006. Well, I had started back to college in 2004, University of Phoenix, and I've just been working at it sporadically while I'm working and that kind of thing. And so when this started happening and I realized after a year, you're not going back to work because there is no work. So you either move out of Nevada and my mom is 85, so I'm like, I can't move and leave my mom here. Now I'm looking at it like, well, wait a second, I've got to pay for my old age here. The impact of this is 